Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Madagascan hissing cockroaches new enclosure. So in the last video I showed you guys their old enclosure. I also talked about the information side of looking after cockroaches and how to house them and what to feed them. But in this video I'm, literally, I'm just going to show you what I've got in their new enclosure and um, why I put it in there. Um, and an update about Juniper, he has officially passed away now, he is still with us because I haven't been able to post him off to Yorkshire yet. So I'm going to keep this intro short and let's get on to the video. So this is my Madagascan Hissing Cockroaches new enclosure. It is glass now, not plastic. As you can see, they are in there. They are not in there full time yet, as there is no lid. I need to make them a lid. So what I've got in here are three plant pots, large ones, two large sticks for height to add some height and some for them to climb on, some cork bark as hide, some slate in here as another texture. Then they have. Five spider plants to add a bit of colour and then I also have a cocoa fibre as my bedding same as everyone else would use so the reason why I have all these different textures in is because in the wild they wouldn't just be on bedding they'd have different textures sticks, stones, all of that and then their water bowl is still in their old enclosure, which if I move this across, as you can see, it is twice as big. Is it triple the size actually? So this stuff in here will be moved into here, or at least the water dish will and stuff, when they're in there. But they still spend a few hours in here. So the reason why I am changing the enclosure. The reason why I am changing the enclosure is because I am going to start breeding Madagascar and hissing, <coughs> Madagascar and hissing cockroaches. Excuse my voice, I am not very well, so that is why I don't sound the best. So, yes, I am going to be breeding my Madagascar and hissing cockroaches. One, for if any of you guys want them, and two, because I am getting a bearded dragon and my bearded dragon needs a food source and breeding them is much cheaper than buying them in small quantities you always have a, su a supply of them so hides, a couple of sticks, cork bark, some stones or slate, water bar, food squirt that's a little nice and moist yeah that is all you need I have got three cockroaches in here at the moment. There will be many more and make sure it is very, very, very secure. Always say this, very secure. If I left them in this all night, I'd have no cockroaches. So yeah, now let's go have a close up at the cockroaches. Here you go, Papa. So they're all in here. And then the other one likes to be under there. So that is it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!